the first thing you thought of when you got up this morning? I have a big <laughs> headache, so I'm not going to press snooze again. That's pretty much the first thing I thought of. Like what I have, what I need to prioritize in terms of my anxiety for the day, I guess. Like what I had to do. What, what am I freaking out about most yeah. today? Oh, right. That. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I was like, hey, farmer's market is happening, which I'm that, stressed yeah, about. I, so. oh, and then I thought of Marika. Oh, yeah. Because our friend Marika came back to JP. She's been gone for a year, and today was the first day we yeah. saw her. So you both part of uh, the Bowling Greeno house in some manner. Could you talk a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, yeah, the Jamaica Play and Tuesday Club. Um, I've been a member for three or four years now, um, and I've been on the board for two years. So we, um, we're the nonprofit that owns and stewards this really beautiful house and property and um, makes it possible to have really great events on the lawn. Um, I started out working in the archives because I'm an archivist. So, and then from there, it, it's like one of those, te like those eight, you know, those like squids and it like, gets, <laughs> and then suddenly you're in charge of 14 right, different yeah. things and you just thought you were gonna like work through some old papers for a summer <laughs> and here we are four years later and you're running a farmer's market. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's me. And, then, and I help with collections and yeah, I've been doing some random stuff. Francis does more than me. She's that's a very true. hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha handles all of our, we had a great textile assessment this year, so we have a big textile collection and she's really, really knowledgeable about all of our, the items and old weird things that live inside the house. We're going to have stuff conserved, it's going to be great. Yeah. There's often a lot of events going on here at the Lone Green House. Um, I think you mentioned weddings, mm -hmm. um, and you had mentioned a little bit about um, being stewards for the property and you know, opening up the property more, as much as you can, to the community, to JP residents to have events. Yeah. Um, has it always been that way? Has there been a real push? And what was that, the shift? The shift? Um, it hasn't always been that way. I mean, definitely this club is um, 120 years old now, I guess. Uh, we started in 1896. So when they purchased the house in 1924, it was a uh, rescue project and then sort of just like a pet house pretty much like it was a clubhouse it was a clubhouse for the women throughout most of the 20th century um and then i think you know as women started going to work in the 70s and um that type of philanthropy started to die down um it became a little difficult to sustain it that way the property is very expensive to maintain um, in its historic form so just in the last, you know, six years, six to eight years maybe, um, there's been a big influx of volunteers with uh, professional skills into the organization. And um, a big, you know, we're all JP neighbors. So we want to make sure this, these, you know, grounds and the house continue to be here and this doesn't get, you know, taken over and turned into new developments. Um, and we've so, been working with other organizations yeah. And JP more recently, the East Forge Gallery and stuff like that. And, and JP Reads yeah. does like a big event on the grounds every year. And we've been trying to do like more programming that's like kind of not necessarily museum y or we, we had a like a spirit night and then oh, yeah. we had Easter egg hunt and uh -huh. things like that. I mean, it's just like this isn't, you know, this isn't our property. It's something that we're just responsible for holding in trust for the community. So, you know, and everyone that, every member of the club, there's like 140 active members and everyone who, uh, you know, comes and supports the market or donates during the, the egg hunt, they're, that's how we keep the property going. So, you know, it's a responsibility to everyone and it's just so beautiful and we don't have a lot of, it's really nice to have a big yeah. park in the middle of this urban neighborhood. It is like a green space too. Yeah. So, and it's a good, like, for the community to come and hang out and just kind of be with each other. Yeah, and this this thing, this like Thursday night market, just kind of happened accidentally over a couple seasons, um, and now it's such a linchpin. And I feel like all like all, most of our neighbors just expect us to be out here yeah. every week, and that they can just show up, and all of their neighbors will be there, and they right. can bring their kids, and everyone's gonna have fun. And yeah, so it's nice to be like a regular feature, certainly. <laughs>